Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, news time. You've got plenty of videos coming out on the channel. You can see here we've got altcoin season, crypto tax for the Australians. And if you want something to do with taxes for internationals, I also have a video on that on the channel that I did with crypto tips. So check that out as well. Lots of altcoins, NFTs, DeFi stuff is really starting to pick up yet again. I'm really in awe of how this is all continuing to push on. At some point, we will get a little bit of a pullback. It doesn't seem like it's ready just yet. Uh, but I've got some news about how much money is coming into the space as well today, along with the Visa news that they are partnering with Crypto.com to allow their partners to settle in crypto. And that's all going to happen on the Ethereum blockchain. Obviously, tons of talk from Cardano in the past, Polkadot, but it's all happening on Ethereum. All right. Thank you guys very much. 103,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get the channel to 110,000. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below, bell notification icon. Get here before the scammers do so you can leave your comments and everyone else can read them. Like the video up. Let's get to 3,000. Let's dive into the video. First up, I've got Twitter. Now, I'm active on Twitter again. Been on there for a couple of weeks now. You can join me. Uh, link is in the description. Go and click that. Follow me. Profile over there. Uh, looking at crypto.com and a few other things that I've been posting about as well, especially uh, Bitcoin's growth for April. So that's coming out, CoinSpot's little post there. But 50% APY, crypto.com. If you stake your crypto.org chain, uh, chain mainnet on their DeFi app, 50% APY. So go and check that out as well. Start earning your 50% per annum in staking rewards by migrating your CRO. So you're going to migrate it over to their crypto.org, not crypto.com, crypto.org. So that's the first piece of news, 50%. All right, I've repeated it many times already. Crypto Fear and Greed, 72, keeping track with this because we're continuing to increase uh, into the greed area. And then potentially we hit that extreme greed when we get into this altcoin season, should we get there in April. SEC sues library, LBRY. I saw this price increase today and I thought that was quite strange, especially with a bit of news like this came out today. Uh, library over 11 million in token sales. Bit of an interesting one. The SEC has charged crypto firm library with selling unregistered securities. LBRY, a decentralized publishing platform that claims 10 million users. So this was the platform that people were saying upload your videos there instead of YouTube because it's the decentralized blockchain YouTube uh, facilitated its operations via LBRY credits which are blockchain based tokens people can pay creators in LBRY credit uh, credits to view uploaded content so that isn't looking too good for LBRY, but uh, LBRY received more than 11 million US dollars Bitcoin services from purchasers who participated in the offering. So we don't have really have an answer just yet, but this is what they are looking at. So SEC Sue's library will continue to follow that and see what the outcome is from there. Uniswap trading volume explodes by 450% to $7 billion. So it's not total value locked. It's just trading volume. New DeFi project called Delta launched on Uniswap. Its rebasing system has made trading volume on the decentralized exchange appear higher than normal. You could get mixed up thinking that that's a total value locked and then think, wow, we're going to go on a run with with Uniswap. But at the moment, it still looks like it's in an accumulation phase. Potentially, we've got slightly lower prices. I don't see it breaking through just yet, although I do like Uniswap. It's a project that we cover quite often. Visa now settles payments in USDC stablecoin on Ethereum blockchain. Let's have a look at this. This is what I was talking about earlier on in the video. Visa now settles. Uh, Visa is initially working with crypto.com initially for the new service. The company hopes to launch a USDC settlement capabilities for other partners as well in the year ahead. Okay, that's pretty much what we need to know from this. Great exposure. Visa, crypto space, awesome. Ethereum, I think regardless of who they, well, I mean, they're using USDC. It doesn't sound like they're going to be with crypto.com forever, but they're initially working with crypto.com for the new service, which is good news for crypto.com. It's something that we talk about on the channel a lot. And uh, anyone in Australia thinking about it is you can buy it from crypto.com or you can get it from CoinSpot. Links to both of those in the description down below. Uh, that is something I talk about. It's something that I hold. You know, I use the crypto.com card a lot. So I just enjoy the features of crypto.com and I love that whole space. We're starting to merge and be able to use our cryptocurrency in the real world. Norwegian billionaire who called for Bitcoin ban abruptly changes his mind. This is a good lesson. 
You can be for a project or not, and you can hate it, and you can change your mind. If billionaires can do it, you with your thousand bucks, ten thousand bucks, whatever it is, maybe a few hundred dollars, you need to be flexible in what it is that you're investing in. You could be wrong on something and then flip your mind and get into it. it this is part of the game. I'm not going to try and pronounce their names. I have no idea how you even say these these characters, these letters. Uh, okay, so, but Norwegian billionaire who denounced Bitcoin just did a 180 after revealing that he had investments in Bitcoin and in the crypto ecosystem. Okay, so first thing he says, it was too much power. It used the same amount of energy as nor uh, norway's energy consumption then he said well there's a, another billionaire friend of his who's making money from cryptocurrency i can't bear to st i can't stand to watch him make money off bitcoin and not myself so when the facts change they don't actually change the facts didn't change what he understood about the project changes what he understood about bitcoin changed not the facts when the facts change i change i met the etc Mirai X founders, Thuk and you, someone tell me how to pronounce that, the day after the podcast was recorded, early in March, and I realized that I had been wrong. And when I also read that next person had gotten into Bitcoin, it was quite obvious. I can't bear to see that that person is making money and not me. Okay, so he was not into it, now he's into it. Just I just look at it, take a lesson. You can be wrong about something, change your mind, it's fine. If it's, it's at the end of the day, it's all up to you. If you're going to make money from something or improve your life without hurting someone else, you got to do what you got to do. Kraken's Dan Held says arrival of institutional herd could ignite intense bull market. Like we haven't heard this before, but more people are talking about it. The herd is here. Institutions manage 100 trillion. See how this number just keeps getting bigger and bigger or whatever price they want to put on it. It's today, it's 100 trillion. And now some of that is flowing into Bitcoin. As institutions provide access to Bitcoin and buy it, it reduces the availability. Yes, okay, it's supply shortage. Uh, we all understand that. Basically, narrative, still bullish. Tens of trillions, hundreds of trillions coming into the market, or at least it's out there, maybe coming into the market. Bull market still on. Remember, we look at market sentiment. Everyone still sees this as bullish. In a bear market, you could have the same news and people not give a flying F about it. You could say there's still hundreds of trillions of dollars out there. This hundreds of trillions was still there three years ago when Bitcoin was at 200, in 2018 when Bitcoin was at $4,000. So just remember that this is about market sentiment. Sentiment is still bullish. So if you're worried about what's going to happen to Bitcoin, this is just to try and ease those nerves. Here's one for the Aussies, Aussies and crypto Webjet, Web. ASX is something that I covered on the channel a lot and it was one of my three Aussie stocks that I liked the most. First one was Fortescue Metal, Macquarie Group, and I did like Webjet as well. So Webjet enters, a crypt, uh, enters crypto through an unprecedented $4 million deal with Locktrip. So that could do pretty well for Webjet, especially as they've been getting absolutely destroyed on the price. Uh, it hasn't affected the price that much. Maybe this was all the buy up knowing they were getting into it earlier on. Maybe this was the buy up. But at the moment, it is not looking good for Webjet. It's just it's heading down. It's probably because we still have not seen the borders reopen. And these flight companies are just not doing too well. 50% destroyed. All right, you need it. Webjet has to get through that $6.40 level. You can see that was just bang on 50%. So if you are watching this, you don't need to be an Australian uh, stocks or anything like that. You can just see how these markets work time and time again. There's the 50%. Got to get through that level. Let's carry on with our next piece of news. This could explain why we're not seeing prices move that much in the majors. Bitcoins, Ethereum's cryptocurrency fund flows now at lowest since October 2020. No wonder cryptocurrency markets were so lack last last week. There just wasn't much appetite from investors to put money, new money, into funds. Flows into digital asset investment products declined by roughly 79 million from uh, by roughly 79 million to 21 million during the seven-day period to March 26, the lowest since October. So that could easily explain why we haven't seen the price move so much, but we haven't seen it dump either. So people who have bought aren't selling. There's just not new money coming in to take that price even higher. So once we see this all start to rejig itself, then I think we'll start to get a bit of a 
a bit of a move on and we'll see that in the charts but quite simply that just to me that makes sense you have money coming in you don't have people selling them we just get a sideways consolidation volumes lowering which explains the volume as well I, I like this because it does explain what I'm seeing in the chart and of course like we talk about we see it in the chart first and then there is something to explain what we have just seen talked about this digital currencies all of the platforms are covering it digital currencies jumped as visa pilots crypto settlement this one's on Bloomberg so it's across the mainstream just wanted to cover that DeFi before we wrap up looking at the the locked values so uni is what i'm interested in here and sushi still above uni and it's still a much cheaper project it was about two billion dollars i think it's a little more now uni swap at four billion we have covered badger badger is dropping out of the top 10 last time we covered it was at 10th that could mean uh, the price still needs some time to recover. You know, that it hasn't had its bottoming pattern yet. I still like it. It's for DeFi for Bitcoin. I think that's a good narrative. And so we're just going to keep watching this space. Same with Vespa, also looking decent. So that's a major crypto news today. You can see that it looks like we're lacking on the funds coming through. Visa's partnered with uh, Ethereum or they're settling payments on Ethereum. Two massive pieces of news. We're still looking at Ethereum. We still can see that that is accumulating and looking like it's going to break out. Stick around on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out the playlists I have here. If you are new, new to Bitcoin and crypto, start here. Wallets, what to do, you know, to set your plans up. Strategies, buying Bitcoin, it's all there. Cryptocurrency updates all below here. Cardano updates for you guys who are really keen on Cardano. It's all there for you. Go and check out those playlists after this video. Thank you once again. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Bell notification icon. There is still time left on the course. You've got a couple of days left to lock in the lower price to the 12-month membership to the Investor Accelerator. Learn how to trade and invest cryptocurrencies, stocks, and real estate. So check that link out down below. It's 10% off when you sign up to the newsletter. All right, guys. That's me done for the video. I'll see you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.